This is my life's passion, right? It's to help people become the best version of themselves. And I think to become the best version of themselves, uh, we have to break down what is a human being, right? So we've got the human part, and the human consists of a body, mind. So let's break that down a little further. The body, to become the best version of yourself, you have to take care of the vehicle, the body, right? Feed it proper nutrients. A lot of scientific evidence says uh, whole food, plant-based diet. I think aerobic and resistance exercise is also very evidence-based for longevity, but also health and, uh, and wellness. Walking also is key. Okay, so we have diet, we have exercise. Okay, how can we take care of our mind? The mind and the body are also interconnected. So the foods that we eat will affect the brain, which will also affect our our thinking, right? Our thinking mind. I believe practice gratitude, right? So gratitude can actually change the brain. I believe in creating a, um, turning the brain into a gratitude machine. You know, living life as a thank you. I think when we live life as a thank you, we ultimately will become the best versions of ourselves because gratitude is the healthiest human emotion. And when we're healthy, we're going to not only think better, but do better and be better. Okay, so that's the human side. Now we have the being side. Remember, I said human being. So this is where I think people might get caught up is the human side, but we don't pay attention much to the beingness. And the beingness is... I think the the, the the real core, the the highest attainment that somebody can make on this planet is to really to really be right. We got a lot of a lot, a lot of human doers, but not many human beings. And so, how do we cultivate this this beingness? I believe the quickest way to that is a process called inquiry, right? Self inquiry. Who am I? Who are you beneath the body and the mind? To whom do these thoughts come to? As Ramana Maharshi would say. Um, this is mindfulness. Inquiry goes a little deeper than mindfulness, but it's, it's stillness. It's keeping quiet, as Papaji said, and allowing the thoughts to come and go. So I believe that when we can, when we can achieve this, this kind of holistic structure, uh, I think we can eventually become, or we're, we're at least starting to become the best versions of ourselves. But also there's a bit of a um, trick in that question, become the best version of ourselves. I think we have to realize that we're already perfect as we are. Um, because this is, this is exactly where we're supposed to be right now. It's only when we fully accept the, the now can we positively um, move into the future.